up in here. Hey guys, we're doing the Valley Cast with our good friend Nicholas Hamilton today. Joe Brett is here, and uh, Craig Kimmonson is on the camera over hey, there. Hey, Craig Kimmonson. Craig Kimmonson. Craig Kimmonson. You better make that account right now. Right now. <laughs> Craig Kimmonson. Craig Kimmonson official. Craig Kimmonson. Dude, at Craig Kimmonson. Craig Kimmonson official. Craig's my dad's name. Whoa. <laughs> See if at Craig Kimmonson is <laughs> What is it? Craig what? Craig Kimmonson. Kimmonson? Kimmonson? Kimison. Kim- Should I just put yeah, Craig Kimison? Yeah. <laughs> so honored to have Craig Kimison here. It's just, it's not, it's so honored. <laughs> it's on the screen at Craig Kimison. There's no tag. Yeah, no, no there isn't. It's, it's just, just words. But it's on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish that some guy named that just saw that notification. Why is it record? Did you hear record? Oh, fuck. Don't feel like watching movies, so I'll watch people guess them instead. I don't know how it goes, I think it starts with your uh, uh, show. Alright, well okay. guys, welcome to the Valley Cast. Wait, hold on a second. Put your phone away, Joe, oh. it's so unprofessional. It's so unprofessional. We're gonna have, uh, we'll have Sarah Whittle do the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, Whoa. Sarah Whittle. Whoa, uh, Sarah, Sarah Whittle! Whittle. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Why are you doing the most stereotypical thing you could possibly be doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What is she? What is she doing, Steve? She's having breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what is that breakfast? She's having some kind of breakfast. Hi, breakfast. Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Great. Are you really doing our intro? I am. Is it intro time? It's this the Valley the Cast Valley with cast. Nick Hamilton as our special guest. Hello, if you'd like. everyone. Welcome to the Valley Cast with Nick Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, she's <laughs> got it. She got is it. our very special guest. He's handsome. He's funny. He cusses a lot. I do. He's just a joy to be around. Oh, that was a really good intro, Sarah. So nice. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. And then we have Joe Oops. and Stu. They're all right. Yeah, we're here, too. They're there. <laughs> wow, you're just you're just shoveling that right up in there, aren't you? Well, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that, Joe. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. What is, that? what is that, pad thai? Uh-huh. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, I love it. I'm so thai. jealous. I love a pad thai, Steve. Nom, nom, nom. I love you. Nom noms. Loves bye. I love you. I'm going to fight Claudio and take you. Yeah, all right. Oh, I want to see it. Ooh. Ooh, right. that means there much stuff. She's up. She's up for grabs. Oh, my goodness. You know, when you're a man, you can take who you want. Yeah, and you're right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. As long as you fight their husband or betrothed. Right, that's how betrothed. it works, right? That's yeah. how like most nations are taken. I over. think it's there's just a, a world yeah, where a Sarah and I would have been a power couple. Mm. Oh, mm, wow. really? What's your ship name? Sarah. Sarah Goza. Wizzle. Wizzle. <laughs> Wizzle. Wizzle's good. Wizzle. Wizzle's actually good. pretty. Wizzle's good. Does Wizzle make sense? I don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. The Wiz. The whiz. Wheeze. <laughs> Wheeze. Yeah. What's your Polly Shore? Whistle. <laughs> whistle. <laughs> whistle. <laughs> what? Oh, the wheeze. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, anyway, guys, we got Nick Hamilton here. Um, good friend of the show, friend of the program. Um, you've been on before in this yeah. very room. This might be number three. This is number three for me. So I was on did, Zoom as well. We did a remote yeah. one. Yeah. Did a remote boy. And then when we used to do dynamic banter in here in this very room. Yeah, and I was here, here a few once. Times. Well, yeah. once for di- yeah, yeah. I've been I've been here a couple times. Yeah. Podcast so welcome back, bro. buddy. Podcast yeah, boy. Dude. I'm a podcast boy. So Nick and I got closer during the pandemic, mm-hmm. which was really nice. Yeah, it was really nice. We got to hang out all the fucking time. We played mm-hmm. Fortnite. Yeah, it was all virtual. It was all virtual. Yeah, yeah. we didn't do it. Sorry, guys. It wasn't, we weren't it's breaking any juicy. rules. It's not juicy. We're not, this is not an Jewish. exclusive. No, no, no. We weren't, uh, uh, we were obeying the rules of the CDC. Mm-hmm. And the rules that you set forth between one another. And sure. the boundaries mm-hmm. in our relationship. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes, that's You're true. Right. Like no tickles. <laughs> no. But plenty of kisses. Lots of them. As many as you can. Over 
over Fortnite. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. and yeah, over yeah, a period yeah, yeah, of yeah, three yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah, a... yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, so we we got closer because our group of friends all played Fortnite. Yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Well, we played and, Fall Guys first. Um, oh, we well, did. Yeah. It started oh, off. With, I mean, if you Fall want to talk guys? about the origins of the fucking, Ooh. I wouldn't mind doing that. I mean, I think we should have a uh, Dream Warriors edition of the podcast yeah have everyone just have everybody have everyone. on where yeah. we recount we our Matt, dream warriors Brett. memories and we can cut in clips from like the games we played yeah, that's it's fun. so sad to think about it because what do you mean no. don't say it's sad it's sad because no none of us care about that damn game anymore no. i was oh, i was the awful. longest yeah you were the longest out. yeah and i i can't even turn it on that's without awful. it's not it's a was really he the longest? Someone else would no, no, Joe was, Joe was always oh, the it was one. Joe. It was me. Joe, Joe was, was the one that Just kept saying. Because I didn't, I didn't uh, come over to the Fortnite side fully with you guys. Because and I was your like, children were obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah, and I was like, I, I can't. Too much. I'm not going to put all of my life into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, right. I need my distractions. And I was like, guys. Fall guys, yeah, fall guys is still a thing. Because in comparison, hey in comparison, like I, I wasn't playing a game all fucking day. And then, and then at night playing again with a yeah. different group of people. Right. Like I wasn't gonna do that. Yeah. yeah. So, so you were all about Fall Guys, and we did for quite a bit. Fall Guys was fun Fall when guys. we played yes, it. We did. And eventually, it just got very, very. Frustrating. It just got too frustrating. So frustrating. And, and we started to get and repetitive. angry. Repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. We get. We get actually got like genuinely we angry. Genuinely multiple times. angry yeah. and like done and and upset. Yeah. And it's like I don't need a video game to do that. Yeah. This yeah. Is, it was our release like of of the world. Yeah. And then yeah. We, we were already not okay. And I feel like you get one of those in your life whether it's a game or something else it's like a it's your your one hobby your one side interest i hate these fucking headphones yeah those things are they're the worst headphones on the fucking planet Better I think it got pleasant towards the end. No, <laughs> no, because when it's right next to your fucking ear canal, mm. it sounds like. Ah, uh, 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 uh. I mean, that would be a lot. So you get one game, yeah, right? You, you get one one hobby, one interest that you enjoy, but you let it get you to that point. If there's something that like mm. gets you yeah, angry, like yeah, more yeah, than yeah, once, yeah. for me, it's this dumb Mario Kart tour app that I have. It's Mario Kart on your phone. Yeah. But it's not as good of a game as Mario no. Kart, but it's a good distraction slash thing that keeps you like building just enough that it brings you back. Yeah. But it's just it's garbage. It's AI that kills you whenever it wants. Oh, you know damn. what I mean? Yeah, and it and it's meant to like uh, be difficult so that you keep coming keep back. Go- and and you, I have been yeah. right. like Owen plays the Dr. Mario app. I had that one too. And yep. and he's like it is a fucking Fucker. Yep. Really? You it's only have fucker. one of those apps in your life. And mine's yeah. Mario Kart Tour. Well, Owens is is Mario, uh, uh, Doctor Mario. Which, by the way, I fucking love Doctor Mario. And the mobile, the mobile game's a little different. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. old. I'm just talking about Doctor Mario. Yeah. PhD Doctor. Do you Mario. know about Doctor Mario? Know. So Mario, uh, the plumber, <laughs> went off and became a doctor. He went. To, he went back to him. school yeah. during his adventures and his mm-hmm. perilous journeys. He somehow, somehow found the time. Found the time to get a and PhD. Good on him. Wow! And he was a certified uh, physician, germologist, wow. germologist, huh? And <laughs> in Doctor Mario, excuse me, excuse me, that's us actually. Pardon us, excuse me. And Thank in do- Doctor Mario was like Tetris. Yeah. And he would throw. He Mario would throw these yellow and blue and yellow and red and red and Drugs. blue and blue and blue pills. Keep going. Yeah. And there would be these germs on the screen, and they also be like, yellow, eh, red, eh, and blue. Eh, 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 eh. And you'd have to match the color Mocking of the pills you with their faces, with the ger- with the germs, and they would kill the germs. And it was like Tetris, like Plants yeah. vs Zombies. Sure, very mm, rudimentary, but okay. yes, no. okay. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just my. <laughs> no, that's I think my, so. Like how's, it not, how's it like not plants like versus, Plants vs Zombies? Plants versus you throw things at things in the Tetris. I guess it's a side Tetris if you think of it that way. Is it? That's more of a. I can't, yeah, I can't Plants vs. Zombies. You know what Tetris like is? A, no, I know what Tetris okay. is. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Plants vs. Zombies is more of like a castle defense. Well, yeah, game. but I'm saying like super okay. rudimentary, yeah. pixelated so version of, of yeah. Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, got it. Great. Sure. Got it. Awesome. Okay. I quit. Joe. Joe, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're right about these headphones. So, um, I don't know how we got. Oh, so yeah, Dr. Meyer is great. Whatever. Fuck it. So, um,. <laughs> How did we get to frustrating games? Uh, we were talking about oh Fall Guys, Fall Guys, oh Fall Guys, guys. And so it's like you yeah. only got one of them. I'm not going to continue playing Fall Guys and hating playing that while I'm already hating playing another game that's got me hooked. Like right. what was yours? Candy, not Candy Crush, the Disney one, the Disney. Oh, game. I played the uh, yeah. What was it called? It was like Disney Emoji or something. Yeah, or Blitz. Like, Blitz. That's yeah. what it was. Similar to Candy Crush. 
Uh, yeah. It was well. It was like same model. It was like right. it forces you to like match you know things. match. It will, but it also is like the whole thing is about buying. Yeah. Yep. Like oh, yeah. credit. They give you just enough to make you feel good about buying yeah. something. Where right. you, are, I want the next thing, but that's when it takes real money. Well, right. Yeah. Bastards. Well, and then yeah. and the worst ones are the ones that are like you. You're playing and you're getting a groove and you're doing really well. And then <sighs> it goes, you're out of plays. Ah! You can't play anymore oh, today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like what the fuck. Like, you can't uh -huh. tell me what to do. What, I grew up in a time where you bought the fucking video game. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Tell him, Steve. You put it in the fucking system. That's right. And everything you needed to go from point A to point B was contained within the cartridge right. without any need for additional money spent. Unless... You got really stuck, and then you dialed that phone number, which actually sent you to a real-life Nintendo tip hotline. That's no right. Way. Where you yeah. would talk oh, yeah. to real no humans oh, that yeah. had guides and would be looking through no them yeah. as fast yeah. as oh, they yeah. possibly could to tell you how to beat the vampire that's real. at the end of the no castle No fucking castle way. Oh, that's real, dude. It's a human Google. Yeah. yeah. You'd be like, oh, fuck, I'm stuck on this goddamn fucking dungeon. I can't get the fuck out of here. Pre-internet. you call the number, and they go like, hello, Nintendo hotline. What that's you, insane. What do you need? And you'd be like, all right. I'm playing Legend of Zelda, <laughs> and I'm, I'm on, on the World screen. Four, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the third screen of the cave, and and they're like, "Is there a bat in the top left corner?" Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know where you're at. All right. So here's what you do. You go up. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? That's but crazy. First, you gotta the get scenes, the crystal. <laughs> like you've seen the documentary footage of like what they were doing. Back oh then, no, right? I don't think so. They're just in these tiny office cubicles, cubicles yeah. and they just get out these big books with all the codes and the walkthroughs, and they're just like going through the pages as fast as they wow. can, like you said, human Google, yeah. to give these kids spending money for these hot tips. Yeah, it was like one nine hundred <laughs> sex. Oh, hotline. so you had to pay for the yeah because yep. it was a phone. Wow, yeah. yep. that's fucking yeah. wild. Nintendo gameplay. This is Terrell. How can I help you? They hold the keys to a magical world. Okay, so you're probably you got zapped into the dark world then, right? Yeah, yeah. man. Very cool. Pre internet so, internet. Anyway, yeah. the, so we're super off track, but the point I was trying to make was, was that we were playing games with Nicholas, yes. having a great time, reconnecting yes. as friends, yes. having a grand old time, yes. a gay old time. Well, yes. And it was really good. Kevin, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> You got something to say? What do you got to say? What do you got something to say? No, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you were just on the same page. Yes. Yeah. Kevin's got it. And then, uh, and then you're like, I'm going back to Australia. Well, you made me. You were making music. Yeah. It like, was well. We we basically we played what I think it was probably around September-ish that we started playing Fall Guys together. Yeah. Maybe August of last year. Yeah. So almost a year. At least. And then. Uh, for the, we played that until like October, and then uh, we started playing Fortnite when the it was around Halloween because of the whole demon stuff. Right, right. And then Ghost Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters the pulled me right in. Yeah, yep. and then we we're playing that until like basically now. But then right before I left in April, we started actually hanging out in person. Right. Um, Doing hikes, and then I. But in between off. all of that, you went and started to make music, yes. and then you released a bunch of music, mm -hmm. and you released an album. No. Well, you. <laughs> no. Eventually, yeah, uh, EP. But you really you made a bunch of music. Yeah, yeah. well, I've got so uh, four songs out as of now, and then uh, I've got an EP coming out in next month. Ooh. So you and then you moved back to Australia for a little bit. Yeah, just to mainly because uh, there was an opportunity back there. And yeah, that was before like all the vaccines were out here, and uh, right. And then I left, and like everything opened up over here. So now I'm back. Right. Yeah. And so we've gotten a chance to see you. We we thought you were gonna be gone for a while. Forever. I we thought were, I was gonna be. We were I was a bunch basically of sad until boys. yeah. I, I was basically until like opportunity over here was more fruitful than over there, and that yeah. happens. Well, because like it a, was bittersweet because we mm. obviously wanted you to be comfortable yeah. and happy, and, but we missed you, and sure. our, the time zones made it difficult it so to continue to, to do. Shit. Even the yeah. Fortnite stuff was yeah. tough yeah. because of the, the time zones. But we yeah. made it work, and it happened, yeah. and we you weren't completely gone from our no, lives. But, it was but a we lot were less. like, this yeah. is the end of yeah. our closeness with Nick. It was kind of sad. Mm. But then you fucking let us know that you were coming back, mm -hmm. and and now... Moments notice, just boom. Moments notice I'm for a back. very secret job that's very exciting. Yes, which you can't which talk, we'll talk about. Which we'll talk about. We'll talk about right now. <laughs> let me get in trouble real quick. Clip. Let's cut to a Kevin, clip. Kevin, say it as quietly as you can over there. Mouth it. You. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. Why, because it was perfect? Uh, yeah, it was pretty perfect. 
Craig <laughs> over there. That's pretty good. Fucking Craig. Craig. Craig, Craig Kimison. Kimison. <laughs> All right, so, you, so the update on the music, because we've covered your journey on, on the music stuff a little bit. Mm-hmm. EP dropping in Oh, I got to get out of here. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a name for the EP yet? Yeah, it's Pretty Young. So the, uh, the last song that was released Boom. called Pretty Young, and then the EP is of the same name. And that's your fourth release so far. Yeah, pretty young is my fourth release, and then it's a five track AP, so it's one, one more song yeah. to go. So you're just cranking out tunes like the Beach Boys. Like the Beach and you're Boys. out here rocking it and yeah. rolling. And like rolling the Beach Boys. Like the Beach Boys. Are you planning some <laughs> like the Beach Boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're young like the like Beach the Boys. Beach Boys. <laughs> the Beach Boys. <laughs> and you're are you planning like going on a tour or anything? I or think like doing it's some tough music? when you have like because I know I have a certain fan base that would love that. But yeah. it's also like I've got four songs, mm. and it's tough. Like I think it would be majority covers or like unreleased like songs. Like the Beach like Boys. the Beach Boys. <laughs> you could just do Beach Boys songs. Yeah, I could do a beat. Like In between beat all the boys. other ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, definitely one day. It's definitely a thing that I want to do. I want to like build a, a music team, and I just wanted to make it. I've been acting for, fuck, 10 years. It's almost half my life. So it feels like... Uh, this feels like when I started out acting. I just wanted to like, I want to make, it's exciting. Get, like, get a team together and like start my actual career and that, that'll that take time. But um, uh, right now, like I haven't acted in so long because of COVID. So now I'm actually starting to like get jobs and it, it's, it's exciting. Um, yeah, it feels real. What an interesting like uh, hell slash blessing it ends up being, right? Because COVID made it tough. Yeah. Lots of actors were not finding work Mm-mm. and you were like i gotta express my creativity somehow and you got you allowed you to do music which is great like Sorry, the beach just, boys. I, like the beach boys. like the beach like the beach boys exactly <laughs> like they make music like the beach boys so yeah, you're man, doing 100 perfect music. yeah you're a musical artist and you're an actor uh-huh do you prefer one over the other? Uh-oh. It's or, time to... or, or are you like, I can do this for the rest of my life? Well, I want um, you to look at your PR representative over right there while you Kathleen? answer this. What do you think, Kathleen? She's like, I hope so. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, Kathleen. Um, I, uh, I like both. I like doing both. If I can do both for the rest of my career, then great. But there's also like... But if you had to choose one or they'd kill your whole family. What do you got to do? Acting. What are you going to do? Fuck. <laughs> that was quick. I just I thought about acting right right away. You, yeah. we, we just figured it out. That was the exercise. Yeah. But I but I love music so much. That's what I was like. I was like, you often think of like musicians and actors. Think of a musician and actor. Johnny Depp. Kevin Johnny, Bacon. Well, Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Kevin Bacon. Johnny Depp is in a band. Yeah, he? Sure. he was. Yeah, but that's but that's what I mean. It, and where I'm leading to. Bruce. Uh, you often Willis. Bruce Willis is. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's brother. <laughs> Billy Bacon. Danny Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Bacon. <laughs> he's still four years old. He's never grown up. Yeah, yeah. Little Danny, little, Danny little, Danny little Danny Bacon. Little Danny Bacon. Little Danny Bacon. Oh, no. No, but I think if you're a musician and an actor, it's rare that someone would think of you as like both right away. If yeah. You, if you think about Johnny Depp, most people think of him as an actor. Yeah, even like Jared Leto. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mars, right? I was like, but and he was music. People well, no, will either acting first. People yeah. will either think of him as a musician or an actor yeah. first. And, and so there's think, always kind of like a first and, thing. And there's probably people who only know him as the Thirty Seconds to Mars guy and people have no idea that he's doing other shit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And the and exact opposite. So and I think, it doesn't hurt or he- or it doesn't hurt the career at no, all. God no, no. And I think that's always that's probably where I'm gonna land. Like I'd like to do both and then. Uh, kind of connect to the fan bases but if i don't and people know me as either a musician or an actor yeah uh I just, I'm, I'm i'm not gonna force anything i'm just going along with the ride so what's the third thing otherwise your family dies what, whittling. Is, what is it <laughs> sarah whittling <laughs> <laughs> she'll be mine <laughs> i will win her i will, I will win, win her. her claudio i'm coming for you <laughs> prepare I'm yourself coming. it could happen at any time <laughs> don't Watch sleep ever yeah uh well it's cool dude I know we watched uh, or watched the video right before we got on, and it's a really good video. Thank you, and dude. I appreciate that. You said you directed it? Yeah, directed, produced it, uh, writ- wrote it, and edited it. Was that your first time doing all that? Yeah. It's dude! My, fir- my first time doing any, like, uh, High like five. directing was it in scary? a film sense. Were you scared? I really enjoyed it. I really nice! It. Yeah. Whoa! I really, really loved so it. So maybe the third thing is directing. Maybe? Yes, I've always wanted to. I think uh, I'm, like, or writing, maybe. Like, I, sure. I'm, I just enjoy everything in this kind of sphere of entertainment. So if I can do Okay. Anything. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. That was really um, fun. Um, uh, that's just our, a natural we're, place to stop, We got a short right? one this year. Use our Fortnite code to uh, support a creator. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
if you could work, like, who's your dream director list? Like, who's your top? Ooh, th- or how about this? Huh. Who's your top three directors you want to make? Let's a movie all answer with? this. Yeah, okay. I want to know okay. what yours are. Oh, yeah. sure. Okay, yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. I, I'd like to. But Nick's the closest to it actually happening. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. So very the only curious. one with a chance. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't think would be on the top of my list if you when it asked me that question. Taika Waititi. Yes, yes. he's my top. I love he's that. my top. Do you think you could do? Because for me, it's like I would love to do a Taika Waititi movie and I yeah. think maybe I could do it. Yeah. You would yeah, 100% it's definitely your vibe. do yeah, you yeah. think do it. you could do it? Like do you think because you, you see what he demands of yeah. his actors I don't know. and stuff. I, I, I would like to push myself yeah, to see if I can get yeah. to that like kind of zany spot because I mean Chris Emsworth wasn't like he wasn't that before he right. did Ragnarok and he managed to get like that zaniness. Oh totally. He yeah. became like, Incredibly funny and yeah. great at comedy, but he was certainly the straight man. I think. Yeah, movie. but even then, like he I was think. in Ragnarok. Yeah, I think Hulk might have been a lot of funny lines from. Old, well, certainly, but uh, he's Thor. still the like grounded. Sure. Like, he's the guy yeah, you go sure. to but for like making sense of shit. That sure. Thor compared to previous Thor yeah, exactly. was, was like oh, oh, yeah. like a three yeah, stooge. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah like it's, it's almost like unacceptable that that's what happened <laughs> yeah. in those movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but like for me, it's like I like I love Wes Anderson, and I that's a great choice too. But but I don't think I could be in a Wes Anderson movie. Yeah. Because that's just not my thing. Like, yeah. I'm not... I think there are certainly actors mm. that are meant to be in Wes Anderson movies. Yeah. Like Adrian Brody and fucking Willem Dafoe and yeah. Bill Murray. But, I like, mean, you just seen, like, the the, the, the the trailer that just came out for that last... I did, one. yeah. And there was a clip of um, uh, Chalamet and Francis McDormand in a scene. It's like, they you wouldn't think of them as... Right, but I, I'm just, like, too wacky, I think. And I'm, my wacky energy is not good for Because it has to be quite world. dry. But yeah, you're right. sub. I've seen you subdued. I've seen you yeah, act. But act. I, but I think you could do it. I really do. I mean, I just wouldn't want to. Like, I'd be like, I, I, if you want me in the background, I would be honored. But I don't right. think I could do anything in your movies and make it good. Interesting. I, I don't, so, so that's right. why I'm like, even though I love him, I don't think I could. Hmm. Be in that. I don't think I can exist in that universe. Whereas Taco Waititi like is like your fucking. Yeah, I think I could totally your, exist. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Especially since like that guy that plays Guillermo on the TV show stole your goddamn similar, role. You know? <laughs> well, no, he's so good. He really is. He's yeah. so good. Hundred uh, percent. So Taika, who else? Who else? Um, Taika and Wes for you. Uh, is your third like a like a Tim and Eric, Steve? Mm. Oh yeah. Like just get super wacky. Yeah, mm. I guess I didn't think about it, but yeah. 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 Yeah, like some kind of weird, like a, um, who are those guys? I was gonna say the guys that did like uh, um, Greasy Strangler, and, 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 like the, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and the guy that did, uh, yeah, that and uh, whatever just that movie with Aubrey there, Plaza was. Out there energy, just oh, yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that kind of weird indie world, yeah, I think yeah. I'd have a lot of fun in. Fully, yeah. And maybe like maybe I could do like a like a. Um, I, actually, just as far as like a dream to work with them, I think a, a Lonely Island would be yeah, cool. Oh, that's yeah. fucking great. Like those guys making movies yeah, and like shit. Yeah, like a pop star like movie. Some kind of movie, yeah. like yeah. a pop star thing. Yep. That'd be fucking great, Steve. Mm. Yeah, it's very much your vibe. I think so, yeah. I think a lot of people would say, like, if it, like actor, like prestige actors would say something like Martin Scorsese, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I felt like it's kind of like... But is it like a dream to be in a Scorsese? Not really. No, I mean, I think, but he'll do it. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> he'll do it. God, yeah, I'll do it. But I'm it's just not like... Yeah, I'm more interested in dude, like... Who, Kathleen who just... Who would yeah, you love to fucking work so, with? Oh, she's saying... Yeah. She's saying that she's... That's Kathleen bad. is she upset. No. Yeah, she's, she's like, cut that part out. Yeah. It's gone. Kevin, you gotta cut that part Kevin, out. Kevin, you gotta cut that out. Kevin, you gotta cut that part out. Talk to Craig. Kevin, you gotta cut that part out. Kevin, you gotta cut that part out. Kevin, you gotta cut that part out. That part where he said that thing. Kevin's gotta cut that part out. Kevin, can you cut that part out? All right, can you play that back? I just want to make sure he gets it. Kevin, Kevin, can you cut that part out? That's perfect. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I'm just going to send you that file. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, here. I'm going to send it to you. That's so funny. And then, yeah, there you go, Kevin. This one's just for you. Um, what about Tarantino? No. I've heard a few things about Tarantino. that Rodriguez? I Robert Rodriguez? Oh, I guess I don't. Spy Kids, Desperado. Alfonso Cuaron. Oh, yeah, I could do an Alfonso movie. That'd be sick. I think so. That'd be great. I mean, you're going to be um, out in the wilderness for a long time. <laughs> oh, who did um, Call Me By Your Name? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely uh, the world you could live yeah, in. Yeah, and he did um, uh, Jack's show on HBO. <laughs> damn it, um, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yep, I'm going to look it up right now because I'm a <laughs> dummy. 
Just what about some kind of like A24, like an A24 Yeah, like a Del Toro movie. kind of. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Dude, A24 has just been A24 slaying great. it. Dude, just, Zola was fucking was great. You yeah, said you loved it, right? Loved yeah, it. Awesome. I can't stop thinking about it. I got to give it a, I gotta give it a watch then. Got to yeah. give it a watch. Taika is the perfect answer, I think, for all of us. I, I think so, yeah. Same for you, Joe? I mean, when you guys said it, I was like, yeah, because I was going back to the ones that... Luca Guadagnino, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I don't think I, I, I would necessarily fit with any, but you start thinking about the ones that you grew up on and you loved, like um, Fincher would be fun. Could mm. I be in a Fincher? Mm, I don't know. Adam McKay, I think, would be a really we, fun director. We have a friend who was in a phenomenal. Fincher. Wait, who was that? Well, our friend uh, who's Mary-Kate's boyfriend. Um, fuck, hold on. You're going to cut around this because I got to know this guy's name. Kevin, you're going to cut, cut it out. You're going to cut, cut hey, Kevin? <laughs> 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 oh, he tried to play it. It didn't work. Okay, 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 Finch would be great. Paul Thomas Anderson, okay. <laughs> which Steve recently. Kevin, re- Kevin, can you cut that part out? There we go. <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson, who yeah, Steve recently correct. found out is not referred to normally as P.T. Anderson. Well, it just seems like <laughs> more sense. people say sense. Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah. But because of Paul W.S. Anderson, I say P.T. Anderson. Gotcha. Me mm-hmm. and my friend group say P.T. But those those answers are all out of just respect for like I love what they make. Yeah, Even the Coen course. brothers. Sean like Persaud. Like a Ridley Scott. There you go. Sean Persaud. Who's Oh, Tim Burton, Steve. Oh, Tim, Burton. Tim Burton's your yeah, shit. I would love. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Tim Burton's your shit, man. <sighs> if he could get back to them Pee Wee Big Adventure roots, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Someday. Mate, you could just I certainly new will, would love to be like the voice of a character mm-hmm. in some stop motion Tim Burton thing. Oh, that'd yeah, be that'd cool. Be I'd be way yeah, into that'd that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, Russo brothers would be fun. I think like, yeah, post Marvel. Like yeah. they're I think they're gonna do a lot of interesting stuff. You see the Apple, cool the, the Tom movie they did I um, a cherry. cherry. They're fucking really it great? great. Everyone said it was shit. I really I've loved heard it. bad uh, things. It's yeah. really good. Interesting. I've, it's like if everyone thinks it takes itself too seriously, but it's like fucking really good, I thought. And then Tom like does a phenomenal job. That guy, yeah, he's the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. I would Tom. do easy. I'd do a Tarantino in a heartbeat. Really? Yeah. I don't know what I would do, but the fact that Jonah Hill was in a Tarantino movie means that maybe I got <laughs> some kind of tiny role somewhere. Jonah carved out what a, what a career. I know. That guy carved yeah, he out. made himself. He, he really, he, really did. he made it. Himself. He worked with everybody. He yeah, could have just been like a guy that did comedies yeah. and then was just like disappeared. Yep. But he went and got Oscars and shit, mm-hmm. yeah, or at least nominated. He got nominated for the Oscar and then he made that movie, uh, the skating one. Yep. That's right. Yeah, twenty yeah. four. Yeah, I mean, twenty four killing on him. it, everybody. Good on him. Right, good. Taika, get him in it. Do it. He His wants it. His sister did Booksmart, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Booksmart's such a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys? You've power seen family, it. right? I haven't seen. It. I've heard power. Really good things. Power. You both power. Power. Wow. Kevin, ah. Craig, have you seen Booksmart? It's awesome, right? Yep. Oh, who good. did um Saoirse Ronan? It'll also, also oh, be good. Saoirse Ronan. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about um Jason Reitman? That'd be fun. Think you could do like an Up in the Air or like a uh, what's the other one? It's kind of a grounded comedy type of director. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would like to branch into comedy. I think I'm uh, in in real life. I think I'm fairly. I think quick. you could do a Wes Anderson. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm pretty. I think I'm fairly dry. With yeah. That. But even you should watch the um, Timothy Chalamet, uh, Francis McDormand clip that they did of this. I don't want to see any more of it. I went to the draft house okay. to see. Well, when you watch the movie, you should wait within. for that scene. Excuse me, I'm talking. Sorry, I'll talk. <laughs> I went to see where I want to go. Within I want to go. Uh, uh, Kevin, can you? Uh, <laughs> Kevin, can you hey, uh, Kevin. Kevin, can you? We got a favor to ask. Kevin, you. can you put that flashlight back Kevin, on? Kevin, real quick. One second, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's filming us. <laughs> just like, what if he just started flashing that in our eyes just to distract us? <laughs> oh, okay. <Anyway. laughs> Um, uh, who were the who were the brothers that did um, Uncut Gems? Oh yeah, the Safdie. Oh yeah, yeah, Safdie. The Safdie guys. They're insane filmmakers. Yeah. Yeah. and that very, would just be good. for the experience oh, more man. than anything. Very, very yeah. good. Yeah, that yeah, I think they have a very energetic um, directing, yeah. not just style, but I think set from what I've seen yeah. and heard as yeah, well. Yeah, hundred percent. Really fun. Any directors you wouldn't want to work with in, in any any ever ever? I pro- I would never work with Zach Braff. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Fucking hate him. Really. Fucking hate his goddamn guts. Why? I'll tell tell him. him what Zach did to you. I, Zach f- did I to fucking you? hate him. What does Zach do? He you? led to my divorce. Let's cut to a clip. Uh, Craig Kimison is on the camera over <laughs> hey, there. Craig. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm not in this episode. In fact, I'm in Nashville. My brother and my dad. See, he's right there. Anyway, guys, listen. You're not gonna believe it. Life 
is actually showing signs of returning to normal. It's almost like you're gonna be able to smile at your neighbor or go to the movies or even go to the post office. Wait, go to the post office? Okay, well, yeah, sure. Maybe some parts of normal life aren't so great, but with stamps.com, you can skip trips to the post office and save on postage. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less. I'm talking a lot less with discounted rates from USPS and UPS. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. We use it at the Valley Folk every year for our Patreon gifts. Uh, you can find more information about that in the description if you would like as well. And it's very convenient. You print out what you need, you put it on the packages, you drop them off, easy peasy. Stamps.com brings the same US postal and UPS shipping services right to your computer. They make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office, which is absolutely wonderful. Print official US postage and shipping labels 24 seven without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is your computer and a printer and you're off to the races. You know what I'm talking about? Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off and it is that simple. Stamps.com is a no brainer, nearly saving nearly 1 million small business owners like you time and money and like me, not so whatever, but and like David, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They offer deals you can't get anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS and up to 66% off UPS shipping rates. And with their switch and save feature, you can quickly compare carriers to find the best rates every time. Stop wasting time going to the post office, guys. Go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with my promo code VALLEYCAST, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Sounds pretty good to you, right, Dave? Yeah. Pretty good. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Valleycast. That's stamps.com, promo code Valleycast. That's stamps.com, promo code Valleycast. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in Valleycast, and you get a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. I, David's doing it right now. You can see him clicking on the microphone right now. He's typing in Valley Cast. He's saving money. He's not having to go to the post office. It's a perfect deal. Back to the show. Hope you're enjoying Nick. <laughs> Kevin? Zach Braff, honey? Really? Hey, Kevin. Hey, hey Kevin. You gotta. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's you gotta. Kevin's having problems with his phone over there. Kevin, you gotta. Kevin. <laughs> Good. Kevin. Fuck. How many um, of those recordings are your farts? Uh, dude, I'll tell you, uh, a lot of them are just Owen and I practicing songs that we're, oh, working, that's cool. <laughs> we're working on. That's cool. That's great. Yeah. You should play one. No. Okay. Okay, I can play one. Yeah. You want to hear one? Yeah. What do you want to hear? The third one down. Wait. Oh, here. Let's do Moni Moni. That's a fun one. <laughs> 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 uh, this song is ridiculous. All right, ready? Shotgun dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a line where he says shotgun dance. This is where I discovered the lyrics right, of Moni Moni are ridiculous. Are we going to get copyright strike for this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shoot him up, come on, Moni Moni. The lyrics. Shoot him up. What the fuck are these lyrics? I can't even get through it. Yeah. 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 Wait, we gotta get to Shotgun Dead. It's coming. Oh. Owen Owen started doing this thing where he would say the yaz off the beat. <laughs> We're doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh, my cheeks hurt. Oh. Uh, uh. All right, let's see if we get to shotgun. Money, money. <laughs> money, money. Oh, here it goes. Oh! Well, well there know. it goes. <laughs> I deleted it. I'm oh, no. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Money, money. Money, money.
All right, whatever. Fine. We tried. That's good. Tried. That's fine. I'm excited you guys are playing music together. That's fun. Yeah, we're having fun, man. We're playing songs like Money Money. Mm-hmm. And uh, you we're doing some Carly Money? Simon tracks. Ooh, that good. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. doing Let the River Run. Let the River which is Run. A good one. I like that. And we're doing some Madonna. Which one? Like R- a prayer. Like a prayer. Yes. Like a prayer. Yeah. We're doing some They Might Be Giants. They Might Be Giants. Istanbul, Constantinople. No. Istanbul. No. Constantinople. No, we're not doing that. Istanbul. No, sorry, Joe. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Well, you guys want to do some Would You Rather's? How far into this thing are we? Oh, it's only 30 minutes. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We talked about directors and people we wanted to hang out we with. Did yeah. our ma- we did our due diligence. Yeah. yeah do, 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 do. Dude, after this, we're going to do a stream, which is really fun. Yeah, I'm excited. To play it's Jackpot. And we're going to be guys. in person. Yeah. And then Kevin's going to run it, and he's going to have some fun over there, probably. Look at him go. Look, Look at, at his him smile. Having fun. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <laughs> Kevin having fun. He's already fun. real excited. Look at, Look at Kevin go have fun. <laughs> little boy. How was Australia for like the, the small amount of time you were there and weren't forced in quarantine while you were there? Did yeah, you get to right. enjoy it? Was it? Uh, yeah, I just I uh, I I I live I did long I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to cut that out, uh, Stephen. <laughs> no, Steve. Oh man. Huh? Oh, oh that's sorry. that was visceral, dude. <laughs> sorry, guys. That was some visceral imagery, is what you just put in that that young boy's head. <laughs> Uh. Hey, what do you say? Let's get. Fu- you guys remember that? <laughs> he found it. Shotgun dead. Shotgun dead. Morning, yeah. morning. Nicholas, would you like to uh, do running commentary on the imagery you just I saw? Feel like we breezed by. No, no, no. Bit. You don't have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ever see it again. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, what? You never seen that before? No. Really? No. Yeah, you have. No. Really? No. Okay. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> yeah, break out the would you rathies. Hey, Kevin. Hey, can you, hey, Kevin? Can you, can you, can you, break, out, break out those would you rathies. What you got? Kevin, can you cut that pie? All right, I am. I'm looking. <laughs> All right. Chaos. Chaos. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> now Kevin's showing Here we go. Up. Now we're having fun today. Kevin's naked behind the camera. <laughs> Give him the flashes behind All right. the camera. Would you rather? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Spend a day with an exact copy of yourself, or an hour with an exact copy of yourself, but as the opposite sex. <laughs> oh, the first one. Yeah, me too. Spend the entire day. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna learn Jack some off? stuff. No, <laughs> Kevin. But what, what would you do with? <laughs> what would you do? What are with you gonna do? The hour with you as a female. What would I do? Well, I, well, I didn't say I wanted to do. Okay, either, but you really. just kind of yeah. scared us I, into. I, honestly, the hanging out with an exact coffee copy of myself, but as the opposite sex, would be kind of interesting. It'd be maybe. interesting. Yeah. Like I'd be like, is there anything I could learn about myself through the feminine maybe. side of sure. myself? Not much time. It's not like yeah. I want to bang my version, no. the like girl gonna, version of myself. Like no. I don't want. You're that. You're gonna spend 45 minutes of that situation in complete shock, anyways. And then yeah. once you shake yeah. that off, you got 15 minutes to sure. figure out what's going on. I guess I, yeah. I, I mean, if they're if they're an exact copy of me. Oh no. Well, it says they're an exact copy, but as the opposite sex. So I wouldn't be able to learn anything from. I might be able. An to exact be. copy. I feel like can, if you're outside of yourself. Yeah. And, probably. What if you find out like you just hate hanging out with you? Like That's I think I'm so obsessed with my reputation and who, and what people think of me at like at all points in time that I would kind of want that day with me just to see if I kind of hate being with me. Uh-huh. To see like what I can change. Why would you want that though? Cuz I I, want that. I I think it's healthy in some ways not to obsess over like what other people think of oh, you. Oh, it's 100% healthy. Well, totally. That's, yeah. yeah, but, but I think you want to look outside. No, no, you want to step outside. But I'm saying of like yourself. it's it's I think it's healthy to look at it a little bit and just cuz I think there's people who can think like, oh, well, I don't care what other people think. And those people are often assholes. Yeah. So you kind of like, you have to, you do have to find a healthy medium. You can't just be completely unaware yeah. of other people and bless you. 
um, you can't just be aware, unaware of whatever, what everyone else thinks of you because that takes away from their experience with you. Like I always want to kind of make people feel nice that I'm, that they're around me right. and enjoy their time around me. Uh, I'm not going to fucking change myself too much or make them make myself. Do you think a, who would win in a person? fight you or, or you? Probably the other me. Yeah. Yeah. The other <laughs> me is probably a bit it. unhinged. He's God he's alive it. for a day and he gets to um, fuck me up. My so would you rather uh <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Steve is visually dive bombing. No, I'm not. He's I'm not visually doing dive bombing. I'm having fun with my friends. <laughs> what happens if you turn the camera around, Steve? Oh, I'll tell you this though. Kevin did send sent Kevin has some for us. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta send that to Ryan some people. You gotta watch the video. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, you just made it. Uh, no, I put it in a video. I said oh, my friend. You God, didn't see that? So All right, here, I'll show you. Did you see it, Nick? No. You saw it. You don't know what that is? No. Oh, come on. What was the one you made a Look. while back with the <laughs> six fingers? Can it resin beef Keneve plashy? Oh man. Oh fuck me. Okay. Wait, what was yours? So you think it would just be hanging out with yourself for a day as well? I guess. I mean I, I see yeah, if I be. couldn't learn anything from the opposite but sex version of myself. But it says if it's an exact copy of me. It just it's just a female. I guess th- what do you what do you think they're thinking when frame like when framing the question? Did you get a draw a, a grind alert notification? Say what now? Sorry. And did you say an Ariana Grande notification? <laughs> Ariana Grande <laughs> notification? You got another one of those, huh? Got another one of those Ariana Grande notifications? <laughs> Kevin sends us some would you rathers. He says, would you rather be surrounded by people who brag all the time mm. or by people who complain all the time? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll take the brag. I think I'm going to take the brag. I can ignore a brag. Yeah, and you could also like prop up a brag. Complaining a is like, bit. ugh. <sighs> Yeah, no, I yep. think I'm with you. It both suck. Imagine, compl- imagine being with someone who just complains all day, just constantly. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, I can't say- oh God, my favorite show is not on. Yeah, <laughs> the worst. These Doritos are gross. Ugh, I not ordered fresh. this without mayonnaise. Ugh. You can kind of put down someone who brags all day. You can just be like, yeah. oh, you, you can fuck, be like, fuck you, you, can't, you, yeah. Dick, you. Mm-hmm. yeah, you can have some fun with what it. What did you say? Oh. Hey, would you rather be a strawberry with human thoughts? Sure. Or a human with strawberry thoughts? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. No one's asking this enough, Kevin. Wait, hey, Kevin, did you make that up? Yeah. Oh, you didn't? Oh, you found him? Oh, okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. That's great. Um, A strawberry with you. Oh, fuck. I'm a strawberry, and I'm stuck in here. There's nothing I can do but wither I mean, and die. Human yeah. with strawberry thoughts. Yeah, strawberry with human thoughts no. is not a life, I don't no. think. No, <laughs> but neither is you're a vegetable or you're a fruit if you're a but human with strawberry if thoughts. I w- but I could be taken care of, I think. If you're a human if with strawberry thoughts. If I was a human thoughts. strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Well, yeah, I mean, you're Man. just a vegetable at that point. I think my family would take care of me. A human you're like that guy strawberry on the... thoughts. But, but so I wouldn't talking. be me at all. I would just have strawberry thoughts. I guess I'll take human <laughs> as a strawberry because I, I. How long do strawberries even last? Yeah, you're not gonna be right. Yeah. You're not gonna be around very long. You'd be like, God, this sucks. What a curse. Anyway, I guess I'll die in a week. <laughs> <laughs> but then if you're eating, that's fucking terrifying. I get for I mean, a second. You could just think about. I mean, it's just thoughts. Ugh. You don't feel. Just it, imagine right? being crunched. I mean, some people. I imagine being crunched. Man. I mean, I. I, I Steve, you feel, are you connected to the pain receptors yeah, I think of the so. strawberry? Because yeah. right here it just says thoughts. Yeah, but you're a strawberry. It's all, all that's different is your thoughts. What if I don't want to think about it? Does your sentient strawberry knowledge extend to when you become a jelly or a jam? Oh, do you remain sentient? And you're, you're just around a lot so of if other... If you become mm-hmm. a jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that just prolongs your death, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you're just in prison. But what yeah. if you're one of those, jam, and you're one of those jam jars that just gets stay, stay in, stays I in the know, pantry for years? I know, you're in the pantry, yeah. One of those little tiny like ones right in the, the restaurant that nobody uses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, damn. And then when it gets halfway full, they just get the big giant tub they bought from Costco, and they just like dump like half a spoonful in <laughs> to make it seem like it's uh, full and new. I don't know they did I'm that. I'm just a little sentient strawberry jam. Strawberry That's Nick's jam. new single. Would you? Strawberry jam. I'm strawberry jam. It didn't get strawberry jam. 
That was beautiful. Would you rather have chopsticks for hands or office chair wheels for feet? <laughs> oh, at, wheels oh, for wait, feet. Wait, wait. You're perfectly adept at using both. I guess wheels office for feet. chair wheels for feet. Wheels yeah, for feet like is you're, sick. Yeah, if you're Holy perfectly shit, that's adept. fucking yeah. dope. And the cops are like, hey, stop! And you're like, I can't! I, I can't. have wheels! I got no brakes. Office wheels! Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, they're perfectly adept. I'm like, I've got this I, down, yeah, but I, I got can't it. stop. That's you're just always hands? wearing roller, roller skates. Chopstick hands I would, hate would be that. awful. Yeah, I think. because you'd never be able to use anything. You'd never be able to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're still mobile with the artist office. Steve, you can't jack off. You can't jack off? Can't jack off with strawberry jack hands. Off. Strawberry hands. Strawberry hands. Jack off with strawberry hands. You know you can't jack off with strawberry hands. So no, you try jack it off with strawberry hands. You know you can't dance strawberry hands. dance strawberry hands. Would you rather be able to hear from over a thousand miles away or see as far as a thousand miles? I guess see. See, see. yeah, because there's so much nonsense. Imagine hearing, miles hearing away. All you're hearing the, everything. You'd hear all the complaining. Yeah, you'd, you'd hear, hear all the bragging. <laughs> all, the bragging. <laughs> all the bragging, and we bring it back. <laughs> and then way in the distance, you'd, you'd hear, hear a strawberry. Strawberry dance. You know you hear. Strawberry dance. You know he's scared. You know he's scared. That strawberry dance. Strawberry Strawberry <laughs> Would you rather have an orgasm every time you eat a hot pocket or have a hot pocket every time you masturbate? Oh, like a treat? <laughs> Wait, have a <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Wait, this. did you reward? say have a hot pocket every time you masturbate? Yeah, so I guess when you every masturbate, time you masturbate, you have, you to have, a, hot have a hot pocket. Well, I do believe we're gonna go with the other. I think we're the other go, really? scenario. You get an orgasm every time you have a hot pocket. Oh, I guess you just. Oh would, yeah, you, I don't you, want you really. Hot, that's you true. either really enjoy a hot pocket or you really enjoy masturbating. And it also yeah, says you, you don't really have to get over some things if you're always yeah. having that hot pocket. What, like a, what about a person who's addicted to? Well, it doesn't eight, say... Eight it, times it, a day, they've got to have a lot of hot pockets. <laughs> I think it's just like, for me, I would be like, I I find I get an orgasm other ways, but it's kind of <laughs> Congratulations. fun. Congratulations. But it's kind of fun to be like, hey, by the way, I actually kind of forgot about this. If I eat a hot pocket, I have an orgasm. It's real weird. <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do with some childhood trauma or something, but it's just something about me. Yeah, Steve's new. He's been around for about like, Three months. He's great at the office. He really fits into the corporate environment. But uh, just, he really, he has a hot pocket every day for lunch. I'm oh. kind of a hot pocket man. Sing, get, and boom, boom. Hot pocket man. Sing, get, and boom, boom. Hot pocket man. Okay. Have Would you rather have anyone you choose fall deeply in love with you on site? Wow. Or win one million dollars a million dollars million dollars i feel like the love thing's a little too powerful and it breaks the genie code yeah it does yeah you can't make someone fall in love with you can't break the genie code can't break robin williams's code sarah whittle fall in love with me you wouldn't have to (laughs) beat the shit because you know you wouldn't win either (laughs) claudio's a big foreign man he's gonna he's gonna and there's nothing he can do if she's forced to be in love with me deep well (laughs) unless she wants to suffer with that pain while she stays married to claudio do you so think she'd she, just come with you if you had a million dollars? Ah. No, no, I don't think she'd she'd leave Claudio for money. I don't think. Wow, well, that's beautiful. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Well, we can only Claudio. assume. I mean, sure. Well, from yeah. what I know, but yeah. she'll never leave that Claudio <laughs> man. <laughs> she'll never leave that Claudio <laughs> man. He just asked if he could have some coke. Yeah, he did. He gets one coke up. while he's one here coke for today. being a good boy for not being a bad boy. One, one coke per day. One, one line. Not per day. day. One mm-hmm. line of coke. One line of coke per day. <laughs> he's got this little jar on his little neck. Little boy's That's line of coke. Little boy. Little boy. Just with a coke. boy size of coke. Little jar. Little coke. All right. Let's do one more. Oh, gosh. Kevin. 
Kevin sent what us some this? juice. He sent us some juice, Kevin. This is what Kevin sent me. My daughter asked me the other day if I'd rather be stung all over by millions of bees mm-hmm. or stomp a kitten. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. When do you have a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you got a very hurt. inquisitive daughter, Kevin. I'd I like saw, to meet her. You know what? I saw a TikTok yesterday that said that showed what would happen if you got stung by like a thousand mosquitoes at once. Mm. It's real gross, huh? And it would take. Uh, <laughs> it would. Uh, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> it would uh, take twenty percent of the blood from your body. No Jesus. way! Yeah. My God! They, it, yeah, and then it was like, "What about a million mosquitoes?" And it'd just be like, it would they would drain all the blood from your body in like minutes. Ugh. I'm not enjoying this. Would you rather at all? So I'm I'd, assuming I'd rather stomp a kitten. You're not having your your blood taken no. when you get stung by a bee. But, no, it's just hurt. For but little. there is a poison. It's a poison yeah, it's that a just toxin, doesn't yeah. hurt us. You're, it's a toxin. It's a toxin Even, yeah. I think that number of bee stings is fatal. It's fatal. Yeah, yeah. you're either dead. You've seen the documentary. And I'd rather girl. kill a kitten. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, kill a kitten, not doc- because I want to, but because I have to. My, you've seen my. I want to kill a. You've seen the documentary, my girl. You've seen the documentary, my girl. That boy got stung. That boy got stung. He got stung by a lot of bees. Yeah, I guess we're I guess we're stomping kittens today. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go do it now? Or? And that's our Valley Cast, guys. Thank you so much for listening, Nick Hamilton. Thank you so much for being. Thank you so much for having here, me. man. Thank you so much. Where should they go listen thing. to your music? And yeah, stuff. look, uh, on, I'm on Spotify. I'm on I'm everywhere that you listen to music: Apple Music, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Deezer. Um, uh, Whoa, I don't know what that is. Yeah, Deezer's a thing. Apparently, cool. it's quite a big thing. Apparently, I think you literally. I thought you sneezed. Adiza um. <laughs> Adiza Mendel <laughs> <laughs> And then all my socials are Nicholas Hamilton N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S Like Cage And then Hamilton Like the musical But yeah. worse And you've got actual Music videos up Yeah I've got music YouTube videos too. Um, If you yeah. like any part of me Then uh, go ahead online And look at me Yeah Do that Thank you Now tell what them what time. Your secret project is I uh, <laughs> You don't Goodbye, know where everybody. that mic's been. No, I don't. Please watch the video to see what just happened <laughs> on youtube.com slash the Goodbye. <laughs>